Hi, let us talk about the third part of the summary. Okay, I want to take this example to explain about pressure volume graph uh, in thermodynamics. This is very important concept. Okay, so um, we have, we concerned about uh, three things. Okay, three things. Uh, based on the first law of thermodynamics, we have the heat, yeah, heat which is uh, Q, and we have the delta U, which is the change in internal energy, and we have the work done. Okay, we have the work done W. Okay, I want to explain these three uh, using this example. Okay, pressure volume graph. Uh, we have different path here. As you can see, maybe I bring nearer. Okay, I bring nearer. Okay, now you can see better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the, in this graph, we have we, we actually have three graphs. Or we can say uh, three paths. Yeah, three paths. The first path is the ABC. Okay, ABC, which is the purple one. Okay, uh, that means uh, the process is the process is going from A to B. The uh, process going to A to B and then B going to C. Uh, this is the first path. Yeah, A to B to C. The second path is the red one, which is A D C. Uh, A going to D and then D going to C. A D C. Uh, this is the second path. Uh, the third path is the green one. Yeah, A direct to C. Uh, A direct to C. So, uh, is the value the same? I mean, for this tree, we have Q, delta U, and W. Uh, Q, delta U, and W. Uh, is it for the Q, the heat flow, is it uh, the heat flow from A to B to C, uh, the first path, the, the purple path, A to B to C, Q, A, B, C, is it equal to Q, A, D, C, is it equal to also Q, A to C directly? Is it equal? No, they are not equal. Okay, uh, uh, for this three path, the heat flow, uh, they are not equal. Uh, work done. Work done for the purple path, A to B to C, is it equal to A to D to C? Is it equal to work done from A to C? Are the work done the same for this three path? Also not equal. Ah, so um, maybe you'll not understand what I'm talking about. Never mind. Okay, we will understand more uh, uh, as uh, this chapter goes on. Okay, and you just, uh, yeah, you listen first. Okay, so first of all, first thing we must know that heat flow and the work done depend on path taken. Different path, different heat flow or work done. Uh, depend on path taken. So it depends on path. It, uh, yeah, it's not independent. It depends on path taken. Uh, so the, the purple path uh, has different uh, heat flow or work done than the red path and also the green path. Uh, so they depend on path taken. Different path, different Q and W. But how about the internet, the change in internal energy? Change in internal energy is independent of path taken. Uh, independent or not depend on path taken. Okay? Uh, yeah, independent on path taken. So that means whatever path you take, the purple one, the green one, or the red one, whatever path you take, the change in internal energy still the same. Still the same. Okay? Why? Because it only depends on the initial and final states or final temperature, yeah, initial or final temperature of the gas. Ah, so that means it only depends on what? For change in internal energy, it just depends on two points. No matter is uh, ABC, is it is ABC or ABC or direct AC, ah, uh, it does not depend on the path taken, the change in internal energy. It only depends on the initial point and the final point. That means it only depends on these two points. It depends on A and C only. No matter what path you take. No matter it's ABC or ADC or AC. The change in internal energy is always the same as you can see here. Uh, the change in internal energy for ABC or change in internal energy of ADC and the change in internal energy of AC is the same yeah they are the same 
Why the same? Because it is just what? It just taking the final temperature minus the initial temperature or final internal energy minus the in initial internal energy. Yeah, as you can see from here, no matter it's ABC or ABC or ADC or AC, it's still between A and C. Between A and C, between A and C, between A and C. That means it's still uh, taking between these two points. The yeah, no matter from A, B, C or A, D, C or A, C, the initial initial departure point and the final destination is still the same. A, C, which is the uh the change in internal energy for the whole process, the change in internal energy for whole process, no matter what path taken, is still final temperature, fine a uh, final internal energy minus the initial internal energy. What is the final internal energy? Final internal energy, it, final in, uh, internal energy is the internal energy of C. Initial internal energy is the internal energy of A. Uh, so it is U C minus U A. U C minus U A. Uh, so U C, U C depend on temperature C. U A depend on temperature temperature of A because why? Because of this formula. Internal energy is F over two. And KT, uh, it depends on temperature. Internal energy depends on temperature. Uh, so, C and A might have different temperature because they have different isothermal line. Uh, we can say like that. Uh, probably A is uh, at this isothermal line. Uh, this isothermal line is temperature A. Maybe this is, um, maybe this is uh, 500 Kelvin. Uh, but for temperature C, uh, it is at different isothermal line, uh, which is uh, temperature C perhaps is uh, 300 Kelvin. Uh, 300 Kelvin. Uh, so it does not depend on other point. It just depends on the initial and final point. Okay? Um, so internal energy depends on temperature. Yeah? Internal energy depends on temperature. So A and C might yeah, maybe, maybe at different isotherm line. So different isothermal line has different temperature. Uh, has different 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 isothermal line has different temperature. So uh, it is just the final internal energy minus the initial internal energy, which, which is the internal energy of C minus the internal energy of A. We, we don't look at B or D. We just look at final and initial. So change in internal energy only depend on the initial. Only depend on the Initial and the final temperature or final initial and final point. Okay. So what I can say is the change in internal energy for all path, all three path, is the same. Uh, is the same. But why? But why the heat flow and work done depend on path taken? Yeah? Why is it depend on path taken? For the heat flow and work done, why is it depend on path taken? And internal energy does not depend on path taken. Why? Uh, because, uh, okay, first of all, you learn one thing. Change in internal energy is the same for all path. ABC, ADC, and AC, uh, all these value the same. Because they only depend on the uh, initial and final point. Initial and final point. Initial and final point. Yeah, they all the same. But how about the work done? Let's talk about work done first. Yeah, before we go to the heat, we talk about work done. Uh, this is uh, Q equal to delta U plus W. This is the first law of thermodynamic. Yeah, first law of thermodynamic. Okay, let's talk about work done now. Why is it different? I put cross means they are different. Yeah, work done of ABC different from work done for ABC and also work different from work done of AC. Uh, why are they different? Okay, the answer is simple like this one. Uh, as we learned before, how to get work done? How to get work done from pressure volume graph? Pressure volume graph, how do we get work done? Ah, work done is the... What is the work done? Work done is area under the pressure volume graph or integration of P versus volume, pressure versus volume, the integration of pressure versus volume or the area under the graph yeah, the integrate between pressure and volume or the area under the graph is the work done, isn't it? 
Uh, like these two, like these two curve, these two graph, they have different area, right? The green area and the purple area, they are, they are different area. So different work done. Uh, different work done. So area under the graph is the work done. Okay, let's look at this one. Yeah, let's look at this three path. Uh, this three path, are uh, they have the same work done? Uh, the answer is obvious. Okay. Let's look, let's discuss about the work done of uh, these three paths. We have uh, three paths, ABC, ADC, and AC. Okay, uh, what, is a, what is ABC again? Let's look at these three paths. We have ABC, look at the arrow. Yeah, the first one. Um, yeah, uh, the first one. We have ABC, we have ADC, and AC. All right. Uh, so, do, he, do they have the same area under the graph? Uh, I draw like that. Uh, I draw it even nicer like that. Yeah, with different color. Uh, this is the purple path just now, and this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the the brown the the red or the brown. I I mistaken. It's brown or red? Huh? Uh, it's look at brown. Yeah, brown. The brown path and the green path. Okay, A B C. Okay, let's talk about the work done of A B C, A D C, and A C. Uh, work done of ABC, the purple path is this one. Ah, this one. So the area under the graph is the work done. Okay, so for the path ABC, for the path ABC, uh, this, this is the area, this is the area, so it has a lot of work done. It has a lot of work done, uh, or the area under the graph, a lot of work done for ABC. How about the ADC, the second path, the, the, the brown path? ADC. What is the area under the graph? Uh, or the work done? Uh, for path ADC, uh, path AD, uh, path AD has no work, no work done. The work done only comes from D to C. Yeah? D to C has work done. Yeah, because it got area. A to D, no area. No area, no work done. Uh, this is actually ISO correct. Yeah, ISO uh, constant volume. Yeah, ISO correct process. Later we will learn about several four types of uh, um, uh, uh, thermodynamic processes okay uh, this uh, a to d uh, has no work done d to c is isobaric process uh, isobaric process uh, a d to c has work, uh, area under the graph so it has work done a small area only you see the brown the brown the brown curve the brown graph small area only so small work done uh, how about the the green one the green path the green path A to C, uh, this is the area under the graph, uh, or the work done, work done AC. Uh, see, work done AC. So, do they have the same work done? The area tells you, the colors tells you, the area under the graph tells you, the answer. They have different work done. Different path, different path, different work done. From A to B to C has the most work done. A direct to C, A direct to C has the, uh, how to say, uh, intermediate, intermediate amount of work done. Uh, A to D to C has the least amount of area, uh, least amount of work done. So different path, different work done. So what I can say is, the work done depend on path taken, different path, uh, different path, different work done. Okay? Uh, different path, different work done. Okay, so now, uh, okay, different path, different work done. Uh, how about the, how about this one? Um, different path, different work done. Okay, different area, different area, different work done. So, uh, so you can see here, uh, different work. Uh, so different path, different work done. So how about the heat, uh, the heat flow, uh, for these three different paths? Do they have the same heat flow? Do they have the same heat flow? Uh, so as you can see, if the the heat, the first law of thermodynamic, the heat depend on two factors. It depend on change in internal energy and also depend on the work done. Heat flow depend on change of internal energy and also depend on the work done. For three path, they have the same internal energy, but but they have the different work done because of different area. Uh, different area. So, if the area, if the work done already different for different path, 
So the heat flow, which is dependent on work done also, must be different for these three different paths. Okay? Heat flow depends on internal energy, change of internal energy, and also work done. So since the work done for three paths already different, so the heat flow for these three different paths must also be different. Okay? ABC, ABC, and AC, all different, different heat flow. Uh, so... Uh, since work done depend on path taken, that's why the heat flow also depend on path taken. Different path, ABC, ADC, and AC, different path, different heat flow. Different heat flow and also different work done. Uh, the only, the only uh, one equal is the change in internal energy because it only depends on initial and final point. Okay? Initial and final point or initial and final temperature of gas. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's it for this uh, this uh, this concept. Okay. I hope you understand. Okay. The heat flow depend on uh, why heat flow is not the same for all three different paths because heat flow depend uh, it depend on work done. Uh, if work done already different for three different paths, the heat flow also dif different for three different paths. Okay. Uh, only the change in energy are equal for uh, all three different paths. So, uh, okay, that's it for this uh, part. Okay, stay tuned for the uh, fourth part of the videos.